The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 213. NASDAQ's up 66. S&Ps are up 22. Gold contract down $5.30, trading at $1, uh, 12 dollars We have silver up a penny at $16.47. Late sweet crude off $0.44, cents, trading $66.60 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note down 21 ticks, 120.02. 30-year bond off a point and a half, 144.19. King dollar, King dollar up 186 ticks, trading 94,145. Euro is at 116.74 to 1 US dollar. Yen is at 109.66 to 1 US dollar. Uh, bottom line, we've got a jobs number, and bottom line is uh, there's no such thing uh, as uh, inside trading uh, being against the law anymore. You get the Not if you're president, you can do whatever you want, man. You get the president freaking tweeting out uh, the numbers. Uh, that, yeah, that it's going to be a good number before the fact. Uh, bottom line, folks, if you want to put up with lawlessness. You can bet on that. You want to put up with lawlessness, this is like sick. The whole thing is sick. I'm done, I'm done with the whole thing. I know. <laughs> no, I, it's, hey, this, hey, is, hey. this is so far over the top, folks, it's insane. It should not be acceptable If you're going to stick normal. up for them, okay, you better figure out what democracy is. You know, because the, the bottom line is it's that the it's... Biggest, it just, let's, 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 let's calm it down for a second and have a real conversation, because I get you, man, and I share your sentiments. Um, but you can have the conversation without being so frustrated in your voice because it's, uh, it's, it's a shame that one of the biggest economic indicating numbers of the month gets kind of a tip off by the president uh, an hour ahead of time. And somehow it's no big deal. We already have the press secretary coming out and saying it's no big deal because he didn't literally tweet the exact numbers. And... Um, that's a load of, of whatever you want to call it. So and if we'll you get used that. to it, folks, this is the, the, problem, That's the problem. The problem right. that I so see right here it, is That's that not... between the pardons, between whatever it is, everyone's getting used to it. You want to get used to that, guess what? You might as well go to a third world country because that what, that's what's that happening. That's what the Banana Republic does. The yeah. president tweets out all the good numbers ahead of time. Yeah. So. Forget, forget who he basically was talking to last night. You know, I mean, I got to look at these bonds, man. Because the money, the money was made in the bonds, folks. That's, 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 moves, totally, that's the yeah. bottom line. So we get over here. So let's see. So there's, yeah, there's nothing. Well, actually, no. It started at what time is that? That's five o'clock. That's three o'clock. That's three o'clock. Yeah, they were going down all all night long. So that's that's where the bread was. I mean, I would you just conflate. Those are two different deals, though. You know what I'm saying? They really are. I mean, that was to publicly put that out on Twitter ahead of the hour that, you know, and that's why those government numbers, that's why we do the segment on Wednesday at exactly 1030. That's why we do the segment right. on Thursday at exactly 1030. The system is set up for meticulous release of important numbers to the market. Well, you know, I know. It was I, set up that way. I, I, I agree with you there on the tweet. What I'm looking at is that, yeah, who is, let's say, uh, I'm, I'm Trump and you're a buddy. Hey, yeah, tomorrow, man, there's going to be some good numbers out here tomorrow. He doesn't have to give out the numbers. If, if they qualify... Hear, that, but those are two different issues. You, you're, you're accusing him of releasing that information for, like, insider trading ahead of time versus the fact that if you just stay focused, the one we, we know for sure... Yeah, I understand that. Okay. But I, I can speculate on, you know, that's, that's my point. If, if you can't, I don't if, like conflating the two issues. That's all right. I, I know it's I'm, okay. I'm, We're I'm, having a conversation. Right. Me and you. Right. Right now. It's right. okay. I know. I know it is. You don't need to tell me it's okay, though. That's, I know it's okay. I know. Okay. Right. And that's your opinion, okay? I'm speculating that he, he basically was talking to people last night, too. I know. Saying it's, a, you know, and basically they're, they're selling bonds. It's, okay. Market wise they're out two here. Different issues. They, they definitely are. I two don't like conflating issues. them because one I, of them is simple to, to demonstrate how wrong it is, the other one is just a speculation. Right. So, window dressing, <laughs> you know, we got it in spades out here. Um, you know, the uh, S&P, we'll see where this baby can go. The Yesterday, you actually went downtown. You had volume on the way downtown. Did $93 million. Uh, If you take a look at the NYSE, now this is where this is really wild. Um, the NYSE had a monster 
expansion of volume, 1.3 billion. That subtle will get a confirmation today uh, if we get a bounce on light volume. That would be a confirmation that we're going to continue going lower price. Uh, gold contract, gold contract out here. That little baby got down to uh, 1288 today. This was a fast move down. It rejected, no, wrong contract wise, GCQ8. That went down to 1293. Did reject it. Now, what's intriguing here is that we still didn't get to the swing low, which is 1286. The real kick is going to be, you know, can it close near the high of the day? You know, we got uh, one good bounce, which that bounce there, 1299.70. We'll see where that shakes out. Uh, it's impressive in the, in the aspect of uh, how strong that jobs number is. And, you know, bottom line is that the Fed is going to be hard pressed not to. We know that the odds of uh, June, uh, WIRP. So the odds of June, that's interesting. So we're at. No, nope, so this is where if, we always get. Yeah. We're at 150 to 175 right now. Okay. And the odds are 100% of a hike. Okay. The odds are 16% that they go up 50 basis points. Okay, so. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm trying where to figure out what is the 84 right there? Follow me here. Follow yeah. me here. Seriously, because yeah. I just explained it. It's it's 16 percent. They go up 50 basis points. 84 percent. They go up a quarter. I see. Okay. This is what are we always because we're, we're at 1.5, even 1. though the effective rate is 1.7 no, right but now. But these are ranges. This is right. right. You know, the, right. Not, it, okay. Okay. So after that, the next September 61.9 percent. Right? So, so. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So there's a 100% chance of a hike coming no matter what. We get to two hikes by September. Okay? This column, the 175 to 2, is one hike. 2 to 2 and a quarter is two hikes. Yep. 2 and a quarter to 2, 5 is three hikes. Yeah, so that's September. That's a big, that's a big number now, too. Yeah. 61%. The, um... Those, uh, I was listening to those numbers uh, coming across, meaning, uh, what is it, uh, Lululemon, Lulu, L-U-L-U. -L -U -L -U. Yeah. Quite a number. They're spiking to all-time highs. Wow. There you go. Look at that. And this is, it, which, which, what it's showing is that high-end, expensive stuff is going up. That seems right? to be the case recently, right? This earnings in the last week or two, um, maybe a few weeks, those high-end retailers for sure. You had Michael Kors, you had Movado Watchmaker. Um, along with many others, I'm sure. And Costco was lower, and then... I'm just going to reset that screen. Okay. They might have it, uh, but we'll make sure they got it in the den. There we go. Go for it. Okay, so that's a recovery, too. I guess uh, it was trading lower pre-market. Pre yeah, and even Lululemon really took off from where they were, um, even pre-market. They were trading higher okay. and then dramatically higher. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Now, the real kick is going to be when the next jobs number come out, if the tweet comes out before you and if the tweet doesn't come out, right? Of it's, course. It's, it's going to be like, okay, do you That's sell it? Do you buy it? What do you do? Of course. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrial Zedda up 192, NASDAQ up 63, S&P's up 21. We're coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Thank you.
Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. So Dow Industrials right now up 170. We get the NASDAQ uh, up 55. S&Ps are up 18. And let's get over and uh, go take a look at that King Dollar. So King Dollar, bottom line, is staying over. And it's got volume, too. So the number to keep your eye well, you don't have to keep your eye on it today because I don't think we're going to be under it. It's 93,480. We got down to uh, 93,690 yesterday. You did have volume, but guess what? You're up with 20,000 contracts today, so that's good contract volume. You know, we'll end up doing 30, 35,000 uh, inside King Dollar. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, some of the other higher volume stocks out here. So let's see what we got. You got uh, Intel. Look at that. Intel's up a buck thirty. Yeah, AMD lemon. as well, up forty-four cents. So those chip makers, I'm sure. Okay, there's something happening there. Uh, Transocean up twenty-four cents. That's a twelve-dollar stock. U.S. Steel's up a buck, even with the steel tafts, That that stock can't move. Uh, GE's down. So let's go to Intel for a second. Yeah. Not a lot of price spread, but uh, bottom line is that you're at higher highs. The uh, internationally, where we're going, you have uh, Europe up right now. The FTSE's up half a percent. CAT's up 1.4. DAX is up 1.3. Even Spain's, look at Spain's up. Spain's up 2 percent. Yeah. Wild. Asia last night. Let's see. Why did that go? Oh, there we go. So Asia last night, that was mixed. Not much action there. Uh, if we go over to U.S. Steel, because I believe this morning, your know, bottom line is that you got TAFs on, I think, right? That's, it was, it was, mid, it, was mid, it was midnight last night, I mean, right? We have Canadian tariffs as well, so I'm not yeah. sure how that's relating to those individual U.S. Steel and AK Steel and so forth. Yeah. Section 32, well, find out where this whole thing shakes out. The um, oh, Bitcoin, what's happening with Bitcoin out here? Yeah, so, pretty tight trading range, all things considered, um, for sure. As in, you know, check that out. Right. It's, it's quite a tale in terms of, you're talking about, we trade from December 18th at 20,000, and, you yeah. know, not February 6th, we're down at 6,000. We're back up at, 
what's the high there? Almost 12,000. We're back down to 6,000. Um, and then, you know, we've had some time here since about May 23rd. If you check that out, the low on May 23rd was 74.34. And since then, that has been pretty much that's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trading days. You're talking about a week and a half, even more so when you include the Memorial Day holiday. Right. Um, almost two full weeks of pretty tight trading range. So what I did see in here in the Nanex platform today, and we'll have to get in touch with them. Maybe we'll have to get our man Dan, our man Chip on the show. Yeah. Because check out what they have here. They have two Bitcoin contracts now. Oh, look at that. Yeah. A monthly mini. Yeah. yeah. So, so they have a weekly which is going to be one-tenth, I believe, of a Bitcoin. So we'll pull this yeah. one up, okay? So this one gonna expire today. Uh, that's where you see time left, four hours, 38 minutes. It right. expires at three o'clock today. And if you pull this one up, so it's a spread going from 32 to 11 to, yeah. middle of the spread being 7,200. It's about where we op open the week. And you can see that if you're buying it, which is basically at bid offer, uh, at the indicative, at the underlying. Right. Um, if you're buying it, you can see that uh, you have Risk versus now, you know, to put, to make this as easy as possible, middle of the contract is 7,200, all right? So you're gonna have $400 risk to the downside, representing $4,000 of Bitcoin risk to the downside, yeah. and same thing on the top, right? So one-tenth of a Bitcoin on the weekly they have currently, and if you wanna trade a full Bitcoin, you get 10 of them. But then to jump, they call it the mini, and that's because okay. it's gonna be one one-hundredth, okay? And what's interesting here is, they have a much wider spread, so okay. basically this is acting almost as a future. Um, you know, now if it goes above fifteen thousand, yeah, you have you have your profit. And is this capped. is live now, huh? Yeah, because I, yes. when I was talking to Dan, they they they, they had it on the uh, demo account. demo. Yeah. Okay, no, okay. this is this is the live account for sure. So this is live. This is my live account. And if you see going here now, now you're seeing that it's one tenth. So it's. And the middle of this spread is going to be, so you're at 100 to 15.1. So you're talking about the middle of that spread. What's it going to be? It's going to be at 7,600, 7,550, 7,500? No, 7,600. There you go. Yeah. Um, and so you can see that at 7,600, you'd have lost potential down to 100. Okay. You'd have profit potential up to 15,100. Right. And if you wanted a full Bitcoin, there's your full Bitcoin. 100. 100 contracts, okay? Yeah, so can you just hit, just, let's just see what this is at right now. So I just want to see, so Bitcoin's trading 7420. Yeah. And the bid offer is just straddling the indicative. Still on the monthly. Yeah. That's good. Yes, no, definitely. Wow. Um, now, what, why, why, in which way is it good? Well, that you're getting a lot of time value. You are. Right? And, and what, yes. So they, they, you know, just as you said, it's 30 days or 28 days, uh, 26 well, days, 28 days. It says, so here's right? what, here's where I, will, I question, like, why do you say it's good, right? Because if you buy this, okay? Yeah. You're, you have lost down to zero. You have no defined risk, essentially, as in you have lost down to 100, right? But your, but your profits are capped. Interesting. So keep this in mind. That's okay, why I cool. want to say, so that's not okay. good, right? Okay. If you're a bull. Right. Right. Because you're basically getting right. it at market, right? And your profits are capped, right? And they're capped at a level below all-time highs in in Bitcoin. Okay. Now the flip side of that is if you're selling it, yeah, you're still capped for profits because you're capped at zero anytime right. you're selling anything, right? But your losses are capped up to fifteen thousand with a full month. Right. Which is an interesting way. That's why, that's, you know, it's, yeah. it's good in some scenarios. It's not good in others. You have so, 28 days left. So, that's, that's you know, intense, if, if man. you were going to short Bitcoin, not a bad opportunity to do Oh, I hope it, it goes up a thousand bucks over the weekend so I can short it Saturday that mo will be Monday morning. To see, uh, <laughs> right. So what will be interesting to see is what kind of premium gets put into this if it begins to trade up to the 15,100 mark. Because I would guess that there'd be a considerable amount of premium if it does that early in the month. You're right? not kidding. Yeah. Um, as in, well, you're not, not going to be able to sell it at 14000 at market. If it's trading at 14000 and you have, you know, three weeks left, they might allow you to sell it at, what, 12, five, 12 13000 yeah, right. right? Where you're going to have to right. put up that extra premium because you'd have profit potential all the way down to zero. Your right. losses are capped to fifteen one, so they're going to make you pay for that type of a risk reward. But where it is right now, essentially right in the middle, you know, middle of that spread, 7600 That's why we always look at the middle because you want to know where the middle is because the middle is where equal risk equal reward. When you start getting away from the middle of the spread, that's where premium starts to play into it. And that's why I always immediately go, okay, where's the middle? 
so I know where we are in relation to the middle. Sure. All grand, you know, all things considered, we're pretty close to the middle of that spread. Right now, you know, middle of the spread being 7,600, we're right. sitting within $200 of it. So that's why the bid offer spread is basically right geared around it. Um, but yeah, that'll be interesting to that's see good. how these trade, especially if we get some big moves in the market. Huge. Same way, vice versa. You know, if this, so trades, let's, let's go if this the... trade's dramatically lower, just in the vice versa, right? Yeah. I mean, if Bitcoin goes down to five, six thousand, right, that might not be a bad proposition either. We would have ten thousand yeah. dollars profit to the upside, only five thousand to the downside. We'll see right. how the premium plays in. So let's see exactly how many contracts we have happening here, because so yeah, the shot. Hot. No one's trading them right now. CBOE is 2,200 coins uh, contract. CME, 1,500 times five. Yeah. I mean, close. Almost 10,000 contracts. Yeah. Not, not, not too, a little bit below, but nothing this, too crazy. You know, I'm sure there's people that are figuring out uh, hedging strategies there because that would be pretty cool figuring that I out. I wish I understood more tech, man, because yeah. I agree. This Stay guy. right there, folks. Tommy and I come Gee, right back. It's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how Everbank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? Everbank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? Everbank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up by 215, Nasdaq's up 78, S&Ps are up 24, and uh, we got uh, Sears, right? Sears uh, closing more stores? Sure. Was that yesterday, though? I believe that was yesterday number. Let's see how they're... Where are we? I'm um, even just... Because I think that number was with their earnings. No? So are they coming out with more action this morning? Sure, I believe we'll they... Back. I believe Is they... it even more than what they had originally... Um... 
what happens. I saw that headline up this morning as well, S and I thought it was kind of just not a regurgitation, but just kind of a similar story. But something's going on with them today as well. Let's see. Okay, so, nah. Yeah, see, this is, that was, that was, I believe that, I mean, now maybe it's just an acceleration, but that was the number yesterday when they came out was 72 stores. That's okay. what I had seen. That was yesterday okay. morning. Um, this is a Daily Mail article, mail article. I'm not sure what that is, closing yeah. 100 store, close to 100 stores. That might be just a different spin on the same 72. You could call 72 close to 100, I guess, if you want to be sensational in your headline. Um, but yeah, these are 531 articles down here, and so, whoops. Yeah, I believe that was number, you know, what they had their, their first quarter earnings. They were descending 12% on those numbers, and I think that's when they came out with it. But no matter what's happening, and that's where it's interesting, I wonder if uh, people are just reading that information more, or maybe fear is just spreading to see if they really have zero chance of a turnaround as the, you know, the, acceler the acceleration to the downside continues. Yep, there's no doubt. So Pretty remarkable, though, when you look at it, that on Wednesday, we were trading at 350 on Sears and we're 260 right now. Yeah. You're talking about 30 cent, 30, excuse me, 30 percent almost haircut. Um, you don't think that a three dollar and fifty cent stock can decline 30 percent. You know, I mean, there's only so far it can go to zero and yep. it's on its way. It's on its way, man. That's pretty intense. And you know, yeah, the thing that's amazing is that they had so many brands. Um, yeah. Piece by piece got to keep up and be innovative and amazon's got plenty of brands too oh, right yeah and you see the likes of you know target walmart i mean they're eating into sears says clothing um all that stuff they, they got a lot going on and they have a lot of competitors and they are not keeping up look at it so talking amazon folks are okay. we there here's your high volume high 38 10 we're there 16 38 uh, we're at all time highs. yes yeah, right now this this is going to be wild watching this if you've been watching amazon because you got a high volume high that wants to be tested. The real question is going to be, how does it test? You know, if this this is, uh, we're not going to get 13 million shares. You know, we're at 1 million right now, and you're an hour into the marketplace. You yeah. know, Amazon would have to come out and say, okay, they just took over the whole rest of the S&P 500. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They did just have uh, their shareholder meeting, right? I believe oh, yeah. I was hearing about right. that yesterday. Um, talking about their shareholder meeting, I'm sure that was a little bit of a circus, just because Amazon is so large. Um, seems like it's going well, though. Oh my God! It was. I almost had to chuckle. I was listening to Bloomberg late last night. I think it was, or maybe two nights ago, and they were talking about how there was one pro, um, suggestion. What do they call it on the board? Uh, proposition yeah. um, to give Bezos less less power, and maybe you know, because he's CEO, he's chairman. I right. Like, what are you talking about, man? Right. The guy's crushing it on almost every. Right. You know, and it, you know, as in. And You're that, gonna have investors. I don't know what it takes to get that voted on, but it did not stand a chance of passing. No, as in, and no. why would it? I and mean, that wasn't from shareholders. That was from as, as a well, it'd be activist group. shareholders. You got to be a shareholder to do it. Just so. Well, yeah, I, I guess so. Uh, not I guess so. Let's stay on. You got to okay. be a shareholder to, to provide a proposition at a shareholder meeting for shareholders to vote on it. I, you know, I just like to stay on actually the reality of what so is shareholders, but it's an activist proposal. They right. can be one and the same. Right. Right. Um, we go over and we take a look at Google to see where Google's going with this. So Google, look at that's interesting. Yesterday, so Google got a got a bid yesterday. You know, we didn't have uh, we had volume on the way down yesterday. You got Google uh, quite a number, three yeah. million shares. Yeah, going into uh, the eleven hundred number and uh, eleven ten. That's another test. But now the difference is that Google's going to get the numbers they need out here today. We're at 846,000. Uh, it's 1.5 million that you're coming into. Because Google's been really weak. But look at the size. Of, the size of the consolidation is intense. 1186 to 992. 1186. Well, not that much. A couple hundred bucks. Yeah, that's still still a lot of money, you know? Yeah. Um, the JP Morgan. So let's look at these banks again. Banks are still having a tough time. So, you know, out here, folks, these, these banks are still saying, guess what? You know, these bonds still want to go up. Banks are having a tough time. And I don't know if it's between they own Deutsche Bank paper or what, but they're still not getting up a bid. Deutsche Bank's certainly not getting a bid. It's flat. I mean, yeah. It's not bad out here today. Um, 
Petrobras. I, let me see that. Let me see that. Yeah, one. quite some headlines we're seeing yeah, out there. So if so you want to see CEO a, resigning, if you want to see a chart, look at this chart. P E T. Okay, so I think I think it was up there before. Yeah, I'll bring it up in Brazil right here because when you okay. see it in Brazil, it's even worse. It's okay. because of the. Uh, I think it's called their real. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. This is sick. It went from it's only May 27 17th. reals, the 17th, to, to 19. <sighs> that's intense. Definitely. And the thing that's amazing about, you know, this company, folks, is that if depending on how long you've been in the marketplace, you'll remember that you know, this, the, the stock was the darling, was up at $52 on 08. But what it was is that they supposedly had found a oil off their coast that was astronomical. I mean, okay. it was just so big. And what ended up happening is that all of Brazil has been in this huge... Um, Corruption. Yeah. yeah. And that was, Petropas is one of the biggest ones out sure. of it. And you know, the amazing part is that every they've, in, in Brazil what has happened is that there was so much corruption they their large companies spent so much money on it but yet they're still alive right no <laughs> hey, that's how it works you're big it, enough you don't fail yeah pretty crazy man. yeah pretty wild uh silver let's go to well actually let's go look at the what has happened is that you know the gold silver equities basically they're still holding tough from you know gold getting slammed again yeah the gdx is down three cents you know I had Rob McEwen on last night. Yeah, that was a great interview. Yeah, so we got that up on our YouTube page. If anybody wants to check it out, the archive is yeah. right there. They can Let go me over. just, I want to pull up that because I was asking about that shot position. Yeah. And uh, hasn't gone down yet, 19.44%. Uh, now, what's going to be interesting, you can listen to that archive, but when I actually saw the, uh, he's going to do a, a note, a $50 million note, he's buying $25 million of it to finance the gold bar mine construction in Nevada yes and you know the market was looking for him to do a secondary yeah you know so uh, that is going to be intriguing because and that should make it so they won't do a secondary that's, yes that's a, yeah yes yeah and what I love is that the bottom line is that he said in the interview I'm not doing a secondary right right yeah, they, so, that was his point there so that's pretty clear that's like okay so it's not going to take much uh, you know they you start moving one out of every five shares a shot of that stock. It's a big number. It's a big number. Totally. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 202. Nasdaq's up 77. S&Ps are up 23. Come right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. 
For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up uh, 203, Nasdaq's up 78, S&P's up 23. And uh, I guess in that basketball game last night, uh, <laughs> that... You uh, want excitement, man. That yeah. was an exciting first game. More exciting for some fans versus others. I was telling you about kind of what happened at the break. And I think right. it's just, uh, it's hey, we'll do a quick sports update. Why not? So you had the NBA Finals game last night, Golden State and Cleveland. Interesting fact that Golden State, almost like a 9-1 to one betting favorite, which is just an amazing line in terms of such a favorite. And uh, especially going against the King, LeBron James, can't right. deny what a player he is. And man, quite a finish. So if people weren't able to check it out, what happened is, is that Cleveland has the ball down by 4.7 seconds, okay? They get fouled and they go to the line. So okay. they're down by one with two free throw shots with less than five seconds left. That's a pretty good scenario, yeah. right? They hit the first free throw to tie the game. The second free throw, they miss. That's bad in itself, right? right. So, and what happens is that J.R. Smith on Cleveland, so they get their own rebound, right. and he thinks they have the lead. Instead of taking a shot, they're right near the net or passing the ball. They have five seconds. It's a long time in right. basketball. Right. Um, he runs around on the court and kills the kind of the final five seconds. And, wow. and LeBron is sitting there with his hands up, because he knows what's going on. Uh, they go to overtime, and long story short, Golden State kicks their butt in oh. overtime. Man, it wasn't even close. They're up by ten points at one point. I think that was almost the nail in the coffin already because it's a debilitating loss. You don't even feel it. You know, I mean, it's right. just what a frustrating moment. I mean, right. you outplay him practically. You pretty much do outplay him, and you make a, a horrible mental blunder. And I was saying to you, I mean, it's just a lesson, man. I mean, so J.R. Smith, he's getting four years, $57 million, okay? And not to put it all on him, but this mistake is on him, okay? $12 million a year. Yeah. yeah. And the guy doesn't know the score with 4.7 yeah. seconds left in NBA game one of the championship and it speaks to preparation i mean he should have been there saying what do i do with this what do i have to do with that they teach yeah. you that when you're eight years old in little league right if yeah. the ball goes to third base what are you doing if the ball goes to first base what are you doing you get prepared for things it goes in life he wasn't thinking man he wasn't thinking about all those things and you know he probably was thinking okay he's going to make the free throw then what do I do, right? And then we have the lead. And, and was then that, what do we was do? Was that the guy who was making the three? No, three it was another through. guy. Okay. George Hill was shooting. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. And, he, you know, he, he got the rebound. Though. Yeah, he yeah, got right. the rebound, right. which was a huge deal because right. you get the rebound, you're right in the offensive zone already, yeah, right. right? Maybe right. LeBron was wide open and he runs around and kills the clock. LeBron LeBron looked like he was not a happy camper at his, uh, at his mental mistake. And man, it's just a tough blow. Pretty interesting basketball game, nonetheless, for right. sure. Yeah. And then we have. Uh, Saturday night. That's Is that tomorrow. the next hockey That's game? tomorrow, okay. yeah. Nice. That's tomorrow. Caps. That's one-to-one. And one. the Knights, one-to-one. One. I've been watching those games. we got our man Andy Hecht out in Vegas. I'm yeah. sure he was struggling as the Caps made good work of game two. Um, yeah, so you had the first two games in Vegas, right. and the Caps got one of those games. That's all they wanted to get. You know, you yeah. go in there to start it off. You want to get one of the two games um, on the road, and they got one of them, man. And did you see that save that Holtby had at the end of the game? No? I was on the I was at the airport and I forgot oh, okay. about the game. Man, it was yeah. it was I mean there was about two minutes left. 
Capitals had a one goal lead and the Knights player had and it wasn't the Knights players fault He probably could have gotten a little bit of a better shot off But the puck was on its side one of those deals and the Capitals goalie just made an amazing save reaching across the net to stop it So good hockey good good basketball Gotta love it, man. Two championships at the same time. Kind of a shame, though, because Tampa was so close to one, Boston so close to the I other. Know. We had two game sevens. We could have been in both of them. Yeah, that's, I said but, the Bridges the other night. It wasn't the same watching. I loved no, it, no, but it wasn't the not. same. Never yeah, the same. Right, right. Different ball game. Yeah. So now I, I actually do want the Capitals to win because of... Uh, because oh, of Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, you know... Yeah. He, you know, they, listen. They all oh, deserve, they amazing, all deserve it. He's but, an amazing yeah, player for yeah. sure. You know, for sure, be pretty cool. Yeah. The uh, let's go into the uh, XLF. So the XLF, you know, we we had just looked at the Morgan. You know, I mean, J, uh, yeah, JP, JP Morgan. Morgan. Sure. Um, you can see the XLF. This thing is just laying down here too. Uh, now the danger is going to be for this whole sector is are you going to break this this low out here? You know. Oh, I heard from Bud Rolfs. Yeah, he yeah. sent me that email as well. Right, I saw. right. I'm at Mr. Memorial Bundle. Day poem. I know. We're, We're going to have to get him on, man. Yeah, for sure. It's good to hear he's doing well. Exactly. So, you know, this is the at bottom of your channel, man. You break this channel. I was going to say, where did Bud come into this conversation? Yeah, that's okay, how, that's, channels. That's channel how, it, that's okay, how it works. Like, exactly. Back to the XLF. It, what it, just it, happened it, there? Okay. Exactly. Okay, exactly. the channel master. We right. got it. Totally. So if we go over to the XLE, now let's go to the energy. You're going to see the energy bottom line. You're at the top of the range. Um, 76.52. This thing, you know, and you can see the oils, man. Just they just love trading in monster trading ranges. It's yeah, I know, and it's hard to comprehend. And they've been trading in that for years. I mean, well, they they seem to trade in a range for two or three years, then they break out of it, then they trade in another range for two or three years. But I mean, look at Exxon Mobil. You know, you're talking about what, ninety dollars. To 73. Sure. That almost doesn't even make any sense. No, I hear you. Know, you. Right. Because you're talking about revenues that are, oh my God, look at this. Well, look, actually, when you look at this, it's like, okay, look at the difference in, you know, 2014 oils at high. Well, that's what I was going to say, man. 411 billion. Oil is trading at, what, 127 at that time? Yeah. Um, this whew. year, 297 million. Yeah. Look at that. That's I mean it's just a billion. No, they're no, both billion, billions. billion for yeah, sure. Billions, no, no, billion. Yeah. But I mean it's just just to put it, it's only thirty three percent higher. And oil was at least thirty three percent higher from where we're at. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's that yeah. when you're digging oil out of the ground and the market's telling you what it's worth. What's more intriguing, I think, is you don't see the type of acceleration that you could have went. Oil went from 127 to 27. I I, I'm just getting, you know, no, was no, it even higher than 127? Well, the highs, right? 140, it, I think. I know it went to 27, two, which is yeah, 27 right, a barrel. Right. I don't see that on this, which is remarkable, right? right? Where's the $27 a barrel? Right. Um, and it was probably, you know, coming into the 226, the 224, somewhere. You know, that's where when it was trading there. Um, but, yeah. yeah. Pretty wild. Man. Yep. The uh, and the earnings you can see seven dollars and sixty cents 2014 this year 480 they they plan on oil going up next year folks not not a huge amount but they plan on making 519 <laughs> their bottom line you know I'd love to be in those forecast rooms where they try and forecast revenues a year out when oil right I mean that's, that's intriguing for sure yeah. So we had our man Basil Chapman this morning. He did the 8 a.m. show, which was oh, great. Did he? Yeah, so he was on there live on, whoops, I didn't want that. I wanted TFN. Um, he did the 8 a.m. show. So he is doing a workshop in a couple weeks, uh, a week from yesterday, two weeks from yesterday. Flag day, June 14th. Okay, perfect. What to expect for the second half of 2018. So he'll be in there with his subscribers two weeks from yesterday. Uh, it'd be a 90-minute webinar, and he's going to be talking about, number one, set, you know, first half of the year is gone. What sectors is he looking at for the you know next six months? Yeah. What sectors could fail? What are the implications of some of the formations? He loves that H to M formation. Okay. Uh, he did the morning show with me earlier in the week. Was that Wednesday? Wednesday we were yeah. yeah. And we we're looking at those formations in the weekly Dow, the S&P 500. And then, you know, are there under-the-radar under stocks that could perform well regardless of market action? Um, so I encourage people, opening call. If you're new to the opening call, you get 30-day money-back guarantee. Get in there, sign up. Basil's got an awesome um, bunch of great charts on a daily basis totally. over there. And he Ride is, that wave, baby. Always does a good job on those webinars. So Ride that out. wave. 
We have uh, Dow right now up 198, Nasdaq up 85, S&P's up 24, gold's down uh, $6, uh, 1298. We get silver flat, $16.44. Tommy and I come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow uh, up 206, NASDAQ up 88, S&P is up 24. Let's go over. And we, what you're actually going to see here, you know, we get wind under some, but it actually is a sideways market. I mean, it looks big, but bottom line is that we've been, yeah. we've been here for a while. Big you know? moves just every other day. Switches every, sides, man. Every other day. All right. Tuesday, we're down 400. Yeah. Wednesday, we're up 300. Thursday, we're down. You know, it's all over the place. All right. So the, Na the NASDAQ has juice. Yes. And the small cap. So the NASDAQ... Um, bottom line is that you're, you're, you're they, they're what, 75, 31, you're, you're right into the high. The yeah. low of the high is 74, 92, the high is 76, 37. Amazon's at all-time highs right now. What's Apple? Apple, I saw, it's up $2, I think, today already. Um, yeah, look at, look that, at that. I mean, up $2, yeah. approaching all-time highs as well. And if we go to the small caps, yeah, they're hanging tough. Okay. Yeah. You know, once they broke over that 160, they're at 163. Been gyrating up there, but bottom line, it's, it's up there. The uh, let's go to the SMHs just for a second. So the SMHs, yeah, they're they're right up there too. You know, I mean, the highs 114. You're at 108. 
Shake it off, baby. Monica just keeps shaking it off. There's no doubt. Uh, that being said, though, guess what? When these things come down, they do come out of nowhere, just like the, uh, you know, the Italy deal. Yes. And in fact, uh, you know, if we go over to the UK, just I'm just curious uh, what that did out here this morning. So that that basically up 32 bucks. The DAX in Germany up 155. That's kind of flattening out. Yeah. Um, hey, Friday it's. Summer trading, folks, Friday and Monday. You stay right there. We get swim lessons coming up next, and then, of course, uh, we'll, we'll play Basil's show. Yeah, we got, and what'll be interesting, yeah. check it out, because he was on there when those job numbers were coming out. Oh, he did yeah. the show live 8 till 9, so that'll be airing at noon. Yeah. Totally. Then I'm in with Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.